Welcome back to Searching for Faith. If you're new here, I'm Tracy. My channel is all about my spiritual journey to discover my faith again and discover my personal what I believe as well as my why I believe it. And I'm hoping that this can be a safe, non judgmental zone for all those who are on a similar path. Um, that we can be on this journey together and support each other. Um, so today's, so if that sounds like something that interests you and you would like to follow along and be a part of this journey, then please hit that subscribe button. So I wanna make sure y'all knew that this isn't a haul channel in general. Um, if you noticed my Bible collection video wasn't like these millions of Bibles that I've bought over the years. It's like just all the Bibles that I have owned in my 40 years that I have been alive. And uh, the newer Bibles that I've gotten, I've actually bought three Bibles, one of them used, one of them as a resource, and then the other one I got to be my journaling Bible, and then the other two my like illustrated Bibles or ones that were gifted to me. So I just wanna let you know that it's not about material possessions. Um, I mean, if you have the money to spend, spend it on Bible study stuff. Um, but uh, you don't need all the things that honestly just a Bible and any old notebook. Like it could literally be a binder with a bunch of notebook paper in it or a very simple spiral notebook or a Dollar Tree journal it can literally be anything and a pencil you know or a pen um, just to get started you don't need all the things I just want to make sure I like preface that before we get into the haul this is my birthday Bible study haul so my birthday was about a month ago by the time you're seeing this video and I actually had a surprise birthday party which was really fun um, and I had a lot of people that I haven't seen for a very long time, so I feel like I got a lot more birthday presents than I'm used to getting. Like I usually get something from my mom and dad, then something from my sister and something from my brother, and then me and my husband, because our birthdays are really close to Christmas and our birthdays are close to each other's, we usually just give ourselves like a little extra allowance for the month and let ourselves buy ourselves something for our birthdays. So I usually get maybe three gifts, but I got a lot, a lot, a lot of presents this birthday I feel like a kid again it's like the first time in probably like a couple of decades since I've got feel like I've gotten this many presents and I got a lot of gift cards and money as well so I had a lot of extra gift cards to spend as well as money to spend um and so I spent most of my gift card money um, and just birthday money on Bible journaling or Bible study supplies. And then I was also gifted some Bible study, Bible journaling things. So I wanted to share all the things Bible study, Bible journaling related that I got for my birthday with you all. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I thought we'd go through is all the things that I got with my Amazon gift card. I got a $50 Amazon gift card and it took me like a good couple of weeks to finally place the order. I kept putting things in my car and deleted them. Um, I was back and forth. I really want to get the uh, Cultural Background Study Bible, which was a recommendation from Faith Womack on how to faith a life. She says it's a really good resource. Um, but I was back and forth. I was like, do I need this many study Bibles or reference Bibles? Uh, and it would have taken like almost the entire gift card. Like it's like a $40 Bible on Amazon. I was like, do I really need this? Do I not need it? And so I was back and forth about it. In the end, I did not get that Bible, but I have left it on my, we have like an online, this video is not sponsored, but we have an online gift like app that we use with my whole family just makes life so much easier than one we use is called gifter so i did leave 
the cultural study Bible on my gifter. And I have, if I haven't gifted it to myself before next Christmas and I still want it, then it'll be a potential Christmas present for next year. Um, but yeah, so I did spend my $50 mostly on just kind of like supplies. So the first thing I got was not really a Bible study item per se. It is a book cover. Uh, if you guys saw my Bible collection video, you remember me talking about how I never got the fancy book covers that were like stretchy that you could put on things. I always got my dad wrapping my books in grocery bags and drafting paper. Um, but I have this Bible. I took the sticker off. But I got it used, I think at half price books. This is the new Oxford annotated Bible. And it has so many notes. Like, of course, I opened a page that has hardly any. Um, I keep finding random things that belonged to the person that owned this Bible. Like, I found a newspaper clipping with, like, a poem. Um, and then this is some sort of prayer written in Haitian. It says Haitian Creole French. Um, so I don't know who owned this Bible before me, um, but I think maybe they were from like, maybe Louisiana. Cause that's where I think of where people, you know, speak Creole. Um, but yeah, so this Bible, like some of the pages, like here's a page from Isaiah, like half of the page is notes. Um, so I feel like it has been a very helpful tool the two study bibles i have right now are my you've seen me do the bible set up for it but the apologetics um study bible um which has been really good i really like the insight and the point of view of some of the things that they share um and then i've really been enjoying um my uh this new oxford study bible as well um i feel like this is like very factual and unbiased information, which is really good. Um, but it's an old book and it's just a hardback with like the title on the front. So instead of covering it the way we did my apologetics Bible, I got a book cover. So we're gonna see if this book cover like works. And I got this cute, once I get the book cover on, I will show you what the, um, and I think this book cover is literally made to be a Bible book cover because it has, um, like a little, like, bookmark in the middle, which is really cool, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a book cover. I mean, it's, it's not that you don't need a marker on, like, a textbook or a regular book, so, um, but yeah, so this is just, like, a stretchy book cover which I'm hoping now it is kind of big I think it's definitely more textbook size but it has this like book cover I think I might have to return it because it's a bit on the big side but it has this cute little sloth on the front not the cutest thing ever but it's a bit big like it's really it's not like holding its shape by any stretch so haha -ha. It's a stretchy thing. And, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really fit. It's a little bit on the big side. And I was worried. I feel like I got the large size one. I wonder if it says it on here. I feel like I got the one that was large size because I was worried that because this book is so big. I can't remember if it was sizes, I can't see, but I think I'm gonna have to get this back. Send this back to Amazon, because it's just too big, unless I can find another book to put it on, but I don't know if I have any books bigger than Bible books, so. Super cute, just not the right size. But that was one of the things I got on Amazon. And then I really wanted, I don't know if you guys have been watching my shorts of my um, YouTube shorts, and I also post them on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to get things on TikTok. I just haven't been super interested. Um, but uh, I usually just use a regular mechanical pencil and then erase with a mechanical pencil eraser, which isn't like the best in the world. So I did get a new pencil, which I actually bought at like, I think Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, but I got these Mr. Pen. 
erasers and there are all these fun colors um but they are i think they call them student erasers but you have like this end that pops off and this is the eraser and like i mean like look how big that eraser is that's a lot of eraser and then on the other side it has this like roller thing that's supposed to pick up the eraser pieces i don't know where they go though like where do the eraser pieces go do you have to like tap it out? I literally just threw this. I need to pick that up. Okay, so I don't know. I think the pieces may either go in here and then you just have to dump them or I'm not really sure, but we will test it out. So stay tuned for my next Bible journaling <laughs> videos where you get to see me use my new Mr. Pen eraser. But there are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you've got a orange, like a fun little green, blue, pink, purple, and a gray. So I got like a whole pack of erasers. I've got enough erasers to last me a million years. And I feel like these were called student, no, just, er yeah, it says erasers for kids. <laughs> I got the erasers for kids from Mr. Penn. I also, this was another recommendation by Faith Womack from How to Faith the Life, but it's a document repair tape. And it wasn't, it, it, when you're trying to spend as little money as possible and get as many things for your money, you kind of overthink how much you're spending. But uh, I think it was like 13, 12 or $13. But it's supposed to like stand the test of time in your Bible. But she recommends this for inserting like uh, inserts and things into your Bible, taping things into your Bible. And then apparently you can also write on this tape. Um, so I know I have some papers of like um, Bible book overviews and stuff um, that I want to put into my Bible. So we will see. And I'm hoping this this tape lasts a very long time. I mean, it looks like a pretty big, I wonder if I'm supposed to open it a different way, but like that's how much is in here. I'm probably supposed to open it like on the side of the box or something, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so we will be playing with the document repair tape in my Bible as well. Um, the next like supply that I got from Mr. Penn, I can't wait to try them out are these gel pens. I love gel pens and the ones that I've bought recently haven't been amazing. So I'm hoping that maybe these Mr. Pen ones are good. I'm gonna open it up. I really love the packaging. Like look how cool that looks. And it has a little cat with a uh, fishbowl on its head, which is hilarious. I love the packaging. I like to scrapbook like my life. And so I may be, um, cutting out some of this packaging and pasting it into my scrapbook. All right, so keep that to the side. Oh, it has like a little grip down at the bottom, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, I am going to be trying these out. There's a little clip right here, and it has all of these fun colors, which kind of match my erasers <laughs> um great thing about mr Penn is that like I, like everything that i have matches now um and then i got a new 0.7 lead pencil um to draw with i went ahead and got three new packs of 0.7 lead for my new drawing mechanical pencil and then the last thing that i got from amazon and i totally forgot i even got this is a large capacity pencil case from Mr. Penn. I might have to tear into this because I'm like, how did they get this in here in the first place? Like it's literally bigger. Like they must've put this on after. I'm gonna have to tear it. We're gonna have to tear it. Okay. All right, I got the pink. I got the pink. My dog is wanting to get up here. So I'm not gonna let him. Because I'll show you guys stuff. If we were just chatting like I was in my uh, Harp and Bowl video, 
then I'd be okay for him to be in my lap. But when I'm trying to show you stuff, so okay, it's actually pretty big. Looks like this. Lots of zippers. All right, so where do we open this first? Okay, so I'm gonna open it this way, like that. And it has this little place where you can put scissors right here. And then the scissors are like attached to the top. And then it has like a big pocket right here. My plan is to use this when I like travel. Like when I go to the beach this summer, for like storing all of my pens and stuff so that I can do Bible journaling um, on the road. It does have a handle right here, by the way. And then let's look at these two side pockets. So this side pocket is like this. And then this other side pocket. is like this so we can store lots of things when i pack for uh i am going to the beach this summer with my mom and my sister we go every summer um so when i pack for my bible study on the go like on vacation i'll do like a pack with me video if y'all are interested let me know if you're interested in the comment section below so those are all the many oh i missed one forgot one thing so I got this Ultimate Bible Dictionary and I knew it was gonna be small, but it's actually more compact than I thought it would be. But I've been wanting a Bible Dictionary um, for a while and I've been just using an online one. So I got this one here, so like a page on the inside. But yeah, it's very compact. So it's definitely something that I'll be able to take with me on the go and not feel like I'm taking too much. Like I have a feeling when I go on vacation and want to take my stuff with me, I'm going to have to take like, I'm going to have to choose like not take any, I might not take any of my study Bibles with me and just take my journaling Bible. Maybe take this and then use like online commentaries and stuff. All right. So moving into the other things that I bought myself and then I'll show you the thing that I got. Okay, so with some of my cash, I bought some things at craft stores. So I bought, I'm almost done with my current Bible study journal um, or notebook. It was an Archer and Olive. Um, and I think, I'm trying to remember, I'm going to do a flip through of it. I feel like I did at least a short of like the setup of it. So if I have, I will link it below. But I did buy already a artist journal. Like I decided instead of buying a new dot grid notebook, I decided just to buy a art notebook, like a sketchbook to use. Because it's nice and nice and big. They're cheaper, getting lots and lots of pages. They're nice and thick, so I don't have to worry about um, like bleed through and things like that. Um, and originally I bought a black one. Um, but then I was at Michael's. I think I'm going to get the black one to my niece because she's also an artist. Um, and her birthday's in May, so it'll be a perfect gift. But at Michael's, don't judge me, they have these beautiful colors. And so I got this really beautiful mint green. And it really is just a sketchbook. But I'm going to set it up and use it as a Bible study journal notebook so that's what I got for that and then I also saw this cute little mini notebook it's called sketchbook it's from artist loft it has 80 sheets super cute super little I thought just for fun I thought it could be a mini bible journal bible art journal so where I could like write a single verse and then decorate the page that's kind of the plan. So we're gonna be doing some little mini Bible art journaling. So stay tuned on YouTube Shorts and Instagram for some fun little, cute little mini Bible art journaling. Um, and then I could take it, once it's done, I could take it on the go. I could either give it as a gift to like my niece or I could take it on the go and it could be like for memorizing scripture or something like that. So that's another thing about Michael's. All right, and then I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got a few things at Hobby Lobby for myself. 
Um, my white jelly roll has run out of ink, so I got some more jelly roll pens. I just got the classic pack. Um, it was $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. I like using these when I like, I don't know if you've seen some of my shorts, but where I may like color a page with like a darker color, like a dark blue or a black, and then I'll use like the jelly roll to do my journaling. Because the way I do Bible journaling, well, I, I do just regular Bible journaling and that I'm taking like notes in my Bible. Um, but I also have a Bible art journal. So I have two illustrated Bibles. One is the Psalms and Proverbs and one is the Gospels. And I create art in them. So I usually do some form of artwork and then I write a prayer in reflection of the verse that I art journaled about. So I wanted to get some more jelly rolls for that purpose. And then I also got a new pen for sketching. So this is a Pentel Quick Click Mechanical Pencil. And it is a 0.7. And like you saw earlier, I got some more lead to go with that. And then I also got some uh, storage supplies. Now you're gonna be like, if you're a crafty person or a person who does like needlework or crochet or anything like that, you're gonna be laughing at me. So because these are all like, I think crochet supplies. <laughs> um, but I got this one, which I think is to store like your needles, like literally says needle art. But it's this tall, it's got these cute little llamas on it, llama mama. Um, but, uh, I don't even know if llamas are that popular anymore. I know there was like a phase where like everybody was obsessed with llamas. Um, and then it has this cute little like polka dot pattern on the inside. But my plan is to store my, I have a million, um, cause I got, or like years ago, I got the mega pack of the Crayola Super Tips. So I have a ton of Crayola Super Tips. So I'm always having a hard time seeing all the colors. And then I have my, um, dual tip um Tombow mono dual tip brush pens so my plan is to put all of my crayola super tips and brush pens in here and then they'll stick out of the top and i can see all of the colors and it'll be super super easy so i'm going to be doing like a whole like organization video so definitely stay tuned for that because i also got once again i think it says i mean it's an everything mary organizer tote but like I said, it was in like the cro crochet slash um, uh, like needlework section of Hot Me Lobby. Um, I got this organizer bag um, because my little shelf that I keep all of my Bible study supplies on is like a complete disaster right now. And I've seen so many fun Bible study tote uh videos where people are like organizing or giving you a tour of their bible study totes i was originally going to get this like because everybody was using diaper caddy so i was originally going to get this diaper caddy but then i realized it was going to be like like when you measured how big it was going to be it was going to be like this big and i was like uh that's not very big so when i saw this i was like that is perfect and it does kind of hold its shape and it's this super super cute um like mushroom gnome theme and I love pink and it's quilted and it has a million pockets. So stay tuned like I said, I'm going to do an organizational um organize my bible study tote video and then maybe I'll do like a short where I give you a tour of the tote. Um but yeah so stay tuned if you love those kind of videos I'm going to be doing one in the next like month or so. All right and then moving on to things that were gifted to me directly. I got some books. My cousin knows that I'm all about Bible art journaling now, so she gave me this devotional coloring book. Um, it's called Devotional Coloring Book, Be Still and Know. The cover is gorgeous. And I'll just like open to a page. For a second, I thought this was like, uh, color by number all right but like so it has like a little devotional on one side and then a coloring page on the other side so I will definitely be taking this some of them are like more complex than others I'll definitely be taking this one with me to the beach 
I'm showing you guys a couple of pages. If I can find this on Amazon, I will link it below, but it's super cute and it's a devotional and a coloring book. Isn't that fun? Um, and there were two books that I asked for. Yeah, I've been, you know, asking for more apologetics. I've been buying some on my own, but I asked for two. I asked for Cold Case Christianity by J. Warner Wallace. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. It looks super, like, ADHD friendly. <laughs> it's got lots of, like, pictures and, like, simple points and, like, little, like, like, evidence things and, like, it seems like it'll be like like a good read that gives us very informational but also I'm hoping I'll be able to follow it like it seems like it's like really giving you lots of information and it has a forward by Lee Strobel who wrote The Case for Christ which I also asked for and was a gifted to me by my mother um and i'm actually currently on chapter three so i'm working through case for christ and then once i finish case for christ i'm going to read cold case christianity um my sister said she's read this one but she hasn't read this one so she's she wants me to give lend her this one when i finish so those are two books that i got um because like i said i'm working on my apologetics right now um, my friend at work gave me some Mr. Pens, um, and they're the fun, like, aesthetic ones that are, like, like, a uh, square shape. Super fun, and they're, like, all, all the colors of the rainbow, and they're so, so pretty. Love those. And I feel like, I was thinking I missed, miss, missing something, but, uh, I think that's it. I think that's everything yeah so those are all of the things that I either got as a gift for my birthday or spent money on that I got for my birthday <laughs> and bought myself um but yeah so a lot of fun bible journaling and bible study supplies and like I said stay tuned for the organization of the mess that I have on my bible study bookshelf um and organizing this beautiful tote um, so stay tuned for that and then also once I finish my current notebook we will also be doing all show I can't talk also be doing a setup video of this a beautiful giant um, sketchbook that will be my uh, it will be my Bible journal like Bible study journal notebook um, because I'm doing some like online Bible studies um, with Faith Womack when I had her when she did her Black Friday deal I like bought like everything um, and I finished her Bible study boot camp and just finished her theology boot camp and I'm actually starting her act study right now but I got like all of her studies so all of those kind of notes go in here as well as my I haven't done any in a while so I need to do more but word studies, uh, scripture mapping, like all of that kind of stuff is going to go into this notebook. And I'm like so excited because it's so big. So excited. So stay tuned for a setup of this and for hopefully more videos of me using that tool as well. So yes, I'm so excited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you love Bible study tools. Um, if you do, definitely hit that like button. And remember, if you'd like to follow along with me on this spiritual journey, this faith journey, um, then please hit that subscribe button as well because I'd love to welcome you. I'm so, so thankful. Um, we are at over, as of this moment, we are at over 100 followers and subscribers and I'm just like so incredibly thankful um, that all of you guys found this channel and that you're on this journey with me and that we can all be here to support one another um, as we dive in and discover our what's and our whys about um, our belief in our Christian God. So I'm really, really thankful for all of you so far and your amazing comments. So keep them coming. I want to get to know you all and interact with you more. So 
yeah and let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you'd like to see every other week we are doing more bible study related content and then every other week we are going to be doing so basically about two videos a month will be bible study related and then two videos a month will be more like heavier topics um my experiences it growing up in the christian world as well as just my um thoughts on some heavier topics so if there are specific topics that see what y'all Filming this on a Friday afternoon, never a good idea. Um, but there are specific topics that you would like me to talk about or you'd like to get my, um, you know, point of view or two cents on, um, then definitely let me know in the comment section. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I don't know where you're watching this. Uh, I usually post these on Sunday. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And don't forget that God has not forgotten you and we're in this together. Okay, guys, God bless. See you in the next one. Bye.